Hi, this is Jason Leva, Global Alliance Storage Engineer at Veeam Software. In our previous video, we showed how Veeam, combined with HP 3PAR StoreServe and Store Virtual, are able to increase recovery points and provide fast and flexible recoveries from storage snapshots. While this capability is extremely powerful and improves recovery point objectives by filling the gap of unprotected time between backups, it in itself is not a backup. Imagine a scenario where the primary storage fails and all those snapshots become unavailable. In this case, having backups on separate media would be crucial. Veeam, combined with HP 3PAR Store Serve and Store Virtual, is helping organizations address a common issue experienced when backing up virtual machines. Traditional backup solutions use agents installed in virtual machine operating systems to back up file system data. While Veeam Backup and Replication uses an image-level, agentless approach that encapsulates the virtual machine in its entirety. This method of data protection enables fast backups with fast and flexible restores like seen in our previous video, but in this case from Veeam Backup Files. While this approach adds new efficiency to the backup process and enables fast and flexible recovery options, it can add additional complexity when protecting VMs that run highly transactional applications such as Microsoft Exchange and Microsoft SQL. This complexity comes in the form of VMware snapshots. With image level backups in VMware, VMware snapshots are required to place virtual machines in a consistent state for backup. While in the state, data that would typically be written to the original virtual hard disk is sent to a delta disk which receives all new data since the snapshot was created. With these highly transactional applications, this delta disk can grow substantially in size as the data from the snapshot is being backed up. The longer the backup takes, the larger the delta disk becomes. Once the backup is complete, it is now safe to return the virtual machine to its normal state. Part of this process is to merge data inside the delta disk with the original data in the virtual machine snapshot. In cases where the snapshot has grown very large, this process can cause virtual machines to become unresponsive and inaccessible to users, essentially making the solution that is supposed to protect data cause data to become unavailable. Veeam and HP have addressed this issue by minimizing the need for VMware snapshots with the use of hardware snapshots. Here we're going to look at the steps Veeam takes as it backs up virtual machine data from storage snapshots. As you can see, Veeam interacts directly with VMware's vStorage API for data protection to gather details about the infrastructure and the objects contained within the backup job. If enabled in the backup job, Veeam will then quiesce the VM using Microsoft VSS or VMware tools, followed by the creation of a VMware snapshot. At this point, the VM is in a clean state where Veeam can send a request to create a hardware snapshot on the primary storage, which will contain this newly created VMware snapshot. Once a hardware snapshot is created, Veeam will have VMware delete the VMware snapshot. As you can see in the logs of this backup job, the VMware snapshot stayed for only seconds, mitigating the issue of merging Delta disks. At this point, Veeam can take control of the newly created storage snapshot by mounting it to the Veeam server and copying data for the virtual machine to the Veeam backup file. Once complete, the snapshot unmounts from Veeam and is deleted. While backing up from storage snapshots in VMware environments isn't completely new to the industry, Veeam's execution is. Unlike competitors, Veeam leverages VMware's change block tracking to efficiently identify block level changes within virtual machines being backed up, making incremental backups up to 20 times faster. Setup and configuration of this feature is the same as Explore for storage snapshots and that you first must add the storage array to Veeam backup and replication which can be done under the SAN infrastructure section of the Veeam Backup server. Additional requirements include ensuring that all production volumes on HP 3PAR store serve or store virtual that host protected virtual machines are available to the Veeam server in an offline state. Lastly, it's important to ensure that the Use Storage Snapshots checkbox is selected in the Veeam Backup job. This is actually a default setting, so unless it has been unchecked previously, this is already done for you. As you have seen in this video, by using Veeam Backup from Storage Snapshots combined with HP 3PAR Store Serve and Store Virtual, any virtualized workload can be safely protected. This concludes this video on the second way that Veeam and HP have enhanced data protection for the modern data center.